Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast, who discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. Our users can use powerful muscle functional in order to create multiple sequence alignments. But it is also possible to align two existing alignments in Eugene, which is also called profile-profile alignment. The operation could be useful for alignments of related sequences and will only insert gap columns into the profiles, thus saving the source alignments. Today we will consider this use case and one more. For now, let's open an alignment. The opened alignment contains four sequences and will be easy to explore. We will copy this document to apply another feature to it later by right-clicking on the document object item and selecting the Save a copy menu item. To align two profiles, we right-click and activate the context menu and then select Align profile to profile with muscle. In the open dialog box, we select a profile to align. The alignment is done and we see that there are two gap columns inserted into the first profile and two gap columns inserted into the second one. Therefore, the profile's columns kept intact and the alignments have not been changed. And there is another option besides aligning two profiles. It is aligning a set of unaligned sequences to an existing profile. In this mode, every sequence from input file is aligned to the active profile separately and is merged to the result alignment only after all sequences are processed. The sequences processing order doesn't affect the resulting profile, since all the sequences are treated separately. This feature is new for muscle users and is available for Eugene users. Let's activate the saved copy view. We bring up the context menu and select Align Sequences to Profile with Muscle. In the opened dialog box, we can select a set of sequences to align, or a profile to use as a set of sequences to align. In the latter case, all the gap characters from the profile will be ignored. Let's select the same profile we used earlier as a set of sequences. To explore the Clostal W format files, we select the corresponding files type. The alignment is done. Again, the source profile is only filled with gap columns and is saved. But the selected alignment was realigned since its every sequence was treated separately. Now we can switch between the views and thus see the differences between the profile-profile alignment and the sequence-to-profile alignment. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.